family here. An awesome sauce. Okay. Let's see how long this phone can can hold video for. Okay. Okay. So, how so do, we, do we just like all say hi? <laughs> this is so hard. Hi, everyone. Okay. So today, what are we doing? We are baking snickerdoodles with our friends Logan and Stone, who are I don't know which side they're going to be on. Which so side do you guys want to be on? The left or the right? I I I don't know this one. Hi, this one here. Exactly. You don't know which side it is. Okay. So today we're gonna be making sneaker doodles, but we're gonna make a non-gluten free kind, and they're gonna make a gluten free kind. So we're gonna see how this goes. Are you guys ready now? Oh, ready for what? I thought we were already rolling. Oh, well, press to restart. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I already started the footage back up. Again. Okay, guys, we're back. So. Cookies, and eggs, and large bowl, combine array ingredients, blend until dough like texture. Chill dough for 15 minutes in the fridge. Mix curry ingredients in a small bowl. Ah? No, I'm, I'm reading it to, to Logan and to myself. I'm not, telling it, I'm not telling it to the camera. No, 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 no. So. Half a cup of unsalted butter. So go ahead and get a butter knife. Butter knife for butter. And just chop it in half. Um, and how much sweetener do I want? One and a half cups. Okay. I can pour that in. Wait, why are they starting? Are they making something? <laughs> this side, uh, super sweet stuff we have is is ultra ultra powdery. Are we starting? Wait, have we already started making stuff? I, I am, yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, then we'll start as well. Oh, okay. I We're know going to preheat the oven to 350, and then she can start whatever she wants to start. Okay. okay. You, start, you got. You gotta tell the camera what you're doing. <laughs> two, two. That that's 16. 16 tablespoons in one cup. How many? How much butter? Oh. Never mind. Just it's Sorry. half a cup. I just chop it in I half. Thought that, I thought we were getting a full cup. Just so chop it in half, bro. I was like, we have a problem. We're gonna be using this entire thing in it. This is not that hard, man. Come on. No, I know. I I just made a mistake in my lab. Stop. Stop. Okay. Are you telling the camera what you're doing? No. Should I be? Most likely. Yes. Yes. Okay. You didn't tell me oh. this is a cooking tutorial. Stop. Oh. 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 I don't. I have never done a cooking tutorial before. Okay, this is the. You should. You guys should really be paying attention to Jaden and Skylar. I am like the worst cooking guide ever. Don't trust me. By definition, we're doing different. We're doing different recipes, though. Do you want to tell them what you're doing? How do you want to go? Like, be really good at following, depending on what recipe you want to do. We're just preheating to 350. Logan is um, getting half a cup of butter. And I'm pouring some super sweet stuff in, like a cup and a half, I think it is. Yeah. Oh, soften it, you're probably right. Uh, get okay. a bowl here quickly. So, we're gonna be cleaning a cup of butter right now, and I think they're doing their butter, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're just softening the butter in the microwave by microwaving it for like 15, 20 seconds. Butter, sweetener, and what else did they want? They wanted eggs, okay, eggs are gonna come in a moment. After we have softened the butter, Going to add the eggs. Okay, did you tell them what you're doing? Yep. Uh, I preheating the 350, cup and a half of sweetener, and getting some eggs in is what we're trying to do right now. Okay, cool. He's gonna mix our cream. Okay, it says to cream it into light. I don't know what that means because since our butter isn't real butter, it's already soft. Okay. Make sure that the Ariel's the editor, right? I'm gonna set up the timer for you guys. No, I edit the video. No, I edit. You edit the video. You edit the videos? I did. I saw the videos. And she edits my video. Ariel. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
basically for every one egg you do a tablespoon. A tablespoon of flaxseed to three tablespoons of warm water. Yeah, because I don't eat eggs, so we're gonna do that as a substitute, and then we're gonna cream that in with the butter. Yeah, we're gonna just beat it until it's smooth. Is what it says. Yeah, beat it. Yeah, beat it. Put it. Okay, put in two eggs, cup and a half of sweetener, and then butter. Okay. And we can just mix this actually. So we get to use cage free free range eggs. Oh no. no, no. Cage free free range eggs. Yes. Uh-huh. Cage free range. Uh-huh. We're gonna put our black seed in this bowl while they do their mixing and stuff. Okay, but wait, so we got two eggs. Oh, so since it's two eggs that we're gonna mix two tablespoons of water to two tablespoons. Okay, so after that we're gonna beat it into the butter until it's smooth. And then, oh, and then everything else gets added afterwards. So, we're gonna let the flaxseed mix set for a little bit, just so it can all feel together or whatever. You know? <laughs> so, uh, I guess I can pick this up and show them what. Now, this is what it looks like currently after just mixing the first three ingredients in. I think it's been sitting long enough. <laughs> yeah, sure. it's been sitting long enough. Okay. So now we're gonna mix this in with the butter until it's just smooth. We did the butter, eggs, sweetener. Move out of the way. There's yeah. almond flour. Oh yeah, we, we have the we have this um ex, we have this expandex stuff because gluten-free baking blend or almond flour stuff doesn't rise like uh, gluten-free or yeast stuff. So this expandex is actually a gluten-free way of making the dough rise up just a little bit. So yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. What? Ye. Yeah. Yeah. Say ye. I do, oh. but like not really in that way. I just go ye. No, that's the. Our mom got this little measuring spoon thing from Amazon with with measurements like a tad and um, a dash and a pinch and a smidgen. Oh my word! <laughs> Recipe says to put in a pinch of salt. We can actually put in a scientifically measured pinch of salt. Two and three. Yeah, but two and three. Yes, I want to in the recipe. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you roll. You roll the balls in the cinnamon and sugar mixture. Okay, now we're gonna put in a fourth teaspoon of salt into this mixture, and we're also going to need a teaspoon of baking soda. It doesn't even open. And two teaspoons of cream of sugar. Everything. That's all we're gonna go in here. Okay, so now we need to beat this until dough begins to form, it says. So, guys, yeah. tell them what you're doing. Don't forget. Okay. Um, I'm currently putting in one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, and I'm trying to put in two and a half cups of almond flour. And we're cleaning. Um, go ahead, keep going. There's, there's more on the list here. Almond flour, there's like cream tartar, one teaspoon of cream okay, tartar. Cream um, and actually, it's supposed to be two and a half cups of almond flour, but we're putting in like half a cup of this expandex stuff to make it rise a little bit. Yeah. Replacing some of the almond flour with the, with this thing. I wonder if we did that with like all the other normal grains, it'd be like extra. Wow, oh my gracious, no! Oh no. Wait, so are you putting the baking soda yet? No. Not no. trying to trying to put in the experiment. Put in one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Um, so we have vanilla extract, baking soda. He put in one teaspoon of baking soda. Did we put in a pinch of salt? Uh pinch of salt. Yeah. You gotta put in a pinch of salt. Everything yeah, else I, I think is in there. Okay, now I get to blend this time, not you. <laughs> Combine many ingredients, blend until dough-like texture. Okay, can do. What would be worse, eating a spoonful of cinnamon or a spoonful of salt? I would say cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah, yeah I don't... On oh, cinnamon? Oh, you're cinnamon right, salt. you could choke on cinnamon, yeah. I don't. I don't actually mind salt that much. Like a, a full teaspoon of it would taste terrible, but I hate the taste of cinnamon. Um, so 
I mean, you have to be yeah, besides the fact that you could die, choke on cinnamon, yeah. So to like get the rest of it in there. Wait, so it does it taste like raw? I wonder. Mm. That's not bad. That's Ooh. actually a little sugary. And if I could please, and thank you, get this out of here. I can do it. There we go. to switch out uh, this thing for the one that we have right now because because it's getting thicker it'll actually get stuck inside of this so we have a different head so that it, it continues to mix well a paddle way too much what I can't I can barely hear you guys over this what? She put way too I'm much coating on too her. Much. This is about what's supposed to look like. Okay, so next up for us is to just let it chill in the fridge. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. We're, we're letting it chill in the fridge. Ha 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 for For 15 minutes. That's what that okay, the oh, recipe spat, made that pun, not me. You you can tell that this is my first time. I'm not very good at all this. Oh yeah, this is someone's first time. This whole, this, string theory and quantum this whole baking this whole baking tutorial thing is is new to me. And we've never done like this is kind of a bad experience for your first baking tutorial because doing it over Zoom is kind of yeah, and also we've never done this we've before, so it's it's double never done this before. Protective <laughs> headphones so we don't die. Electronic noise canceling headphones, like there's a switch that you can push, and all of a sudden all the noise outside of the headphones are. Like before you turn on the switch, you can hear everything perfectly fine. You turn it on, and you can't hear anything. And I have no idea how that works. But it's not really effective. Oh, but they're really stone. Stone. What are what? you eating? He keeps eating dough. No, I'm, I'm not done doing. No, what? Oh. Bye, stone. Oh, I'm good. Boy. Okay, I'm gonna eat this one. Okay, I'm gonna eat this one. Okay, I'm gonna eat this one. No, you're not. You should just make brownies just to eat the batter then. Yeah, the batter. There you go. That's the word. Batter. Yeah. Yes. I need to so know what you're gonna eat. I was thinking to make a radish. Continuing to eat um, nothing bad at all. At right. All. Everybody in the comments, tell Stone you shouldn't be eating the batter of the Snickerdoodles. I'm Maybe. not. I'm, I'm, I'm not eating the batter of the Snickerdoodles. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at us being good girls, not eating the batter. Shoot, I forgot. We're not supposed to. Yeah, you guys are much more disciplined than I am. I can't. I don't understand you guys. No. Nope. He's eating the batter. Yeah, he's eating the batter. Oh! <laughs> She's making Mom is a gas. We should just like yell something really loud enough that it picks up on both cameras and you can use that as like your point to trim it. <laughs> there you go. Now you'll be able to find that. <laughs> what the heck? What happened? I don't know. She, this, I guess it's like a marker to identify a certain part of the video. How long is it until your guys' stuff comes out? Yes, Jaden? How long is it until your guys' stuff comes out of the fridge? Two minutes and 43 seconds. How far along are you guys? How far along are you guys? We're basically done and we're gonna put them in the oven and then we'll watch you guys and make fun while you put your stuff on your hands. Uh huh, yeah. 
Okay. Here we go. Everybody's cookies for 10 to 15 minutes. 